Yes, actually, by the way, uh, this and this go together really well as well. So. signal clipping you can use like LEDs transistors or like op amps or vacuum tubes but we just just tried to challenge that that kind of like that uh, foundation into, like by itself why can't you use a coil transformer with the, like a two electrodes to achieve clipping the same is here so what so all synthesizers all analog synthesizers they go on and on about these like oscillators these here so those are little like crystals that pulsate at, cer at certain like frequencies depending on how much electricity you give them. So they're called voltage controlled oscillators. Well when, when you look at the electro motor that is also voltage controlled oscillator, depending how much current you give it, it's gonna spin faster. So it's it's maybe like I think it it has never been tried like this before because simply like this is not possible without a very precise digital microcontroller and those were not around earlier. So in these days when we have quite high computing power and very precise way to control the, the speed of the motor in a chip, literally in these like con controller chips, then uh, I think that idea can be, can be explored. Because it, after all, it is the absolutely, absolute like uh, maximum analog that you can get. Uh, yeah, we play all the time. Uh, my okay, my rig is very primitive, so I have a I have an uh, aluminum guitar, uh, aluminum Telecaster, which I really really like. I can show it. To you. like a big Fender amp with lots of tubes and reverb. Oh, this is a really nice guitar. Like, uh, yeah, it's really cool. This uh, this is built by this really, really eccentric uh, uh, dude guy in, uh, in London. He's, uh, I think his company is called Longfellow. He, he spent his whole life as a professional welder. And now he's, I think he retired and he just builds really awesome guitars. So I really recommend you to check him out. And uh, so yeah, I kind of rely on cool guitar, which is the main, the most important thing. And big Fender amp with lots of tubes and reverb. And I like, I have a tape delay, the Roland 505, I think, the, and a tremolo pedal. And that's kind of all I need. Yeah. If I'm actually gonna go out and play, as a crazy like fuzz distortion, I recommend using plasma pedal because it really is the best. And uh, what else? Yeah, if you're playing at home, if I'm playing at home, I have a hookup with my acoustic guitar and a blast pedal. And a little Yamaha shitty amp. Yeah. Blast pedal. Because it really, it's like, it sucks you in, you spend like hours and hours, like there's no limits. So it doesn't change the sound, it only like grabs the sound that you already have. So blast pedal is kind of, kind of cool, cool that way. So if, if right now, like at this point, if I'm playing an acoustic guitar at home, like I'm just playing it, and my foot is just like like trying to trying to press a pedal that's not there because it's just like you find a note and like, yeah, let's hold that down. Like it's kind of enters your brain a little bit. So if I had one pedal, for sure, plus pedal, and also that's and also because it's our company, that's why plus pedal. Uh, yeah, we, we we thought we were really confident. We thought we are very uh, naive, optimistic. 
optimistic and confident and just like yeah, we are pretty we are pretty sure that if we build it right, people will like it and it's a pretty it's a pretty cool industry. Like I, I don't know. So this music industry is very nice and friendly and warm and it's not like a business environment or something like that. It's not very. It's just people enjoy playing music. There's no right or wrong like approaches to it. So all you need to do and all you need to worry about is making sure that you build a product that's like that you put your love into it. It's fun. It's cool. It looks nice. It inspires you. Like it's just interesting. If you do that, then everything else kind of takes care of itself. And also, like we have a really awesome team, and uh, we have kind of a good kind of uh, separation of roles. So we have engineers who are in charge of manufacturing, engineers who are in charge of developing. So, and we're not not close to that. Like maybe we'll we'll do that. So, Game Changer Audio doesn't. We don't want to be like pedals or synths or whatever. It's all about interesting, innovative stuff in that like uh, that has has to do with audio, electronics, and music. So yeah. Game Changing Idea. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the idea. 